Hello, welcome back to my channel. We have here an Inco inverter welding machine. This unit has no power. But before I will show you how to fix it, let me give you some friendly reminders. If you're not a qualified electronics technician, please don't DIY. It may cause you an injury or totally damage to the unit. I already removed the regulator I see. The part number is SD6835. I don't have this IC as of now, so I'm going to modify it by using STRW6053N. This is the pin out of the STRW6053N. Pin 1 is MOSFET drain and input for startup current. Pin 3 is MOSFET source and input for overcurrent protection detection. Pin 4 is VCC, input for power supply for control circuit. Pin 5 is ground. Pin 6 is for feedback, input for constant voltage control signal. Pin 7 is BR, input for brown and brownout protection. But I will disable it later by connecting it to ground. STRW6053N has 6 pin, but I'm going to connect together the pin 5 which is ground and pin 7 BR to disable the input for brown and brownout protection. I'm preparing a wire for the pin extension. I'm going to solder 5 wires to the pin of STRW6053N and connect it to the corresponding pin for the original switching regulator. For those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell to update you if I have a new upload video. This is now the STRW6053N with the five wires connected to it. Let's install it using an aluminum heat sink. Let's connect now the five wires. Connect pin 1 of the STRW6053N to pin 678 of the SD6835. Pin 3 of STRW6053N to pin 2 of SD6835. Pin 4 of STRW6053N to pin 3 of SD6835. Pin 5 van 7 of STRW6053N to pin 1 of SD6835. Pin 6 of STRW6053N to pin 4 of SD6835. Let's solder it now. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell to update you if I have a new upload video.
I'm using an acrylic thinner for cleaning the solder joints. Please be careful. When handling these type of inverter welding machine, especially when voltage checking, the negative side of the main filter capacitor 300 volts is also connected to the negative side of filter capacitor 24 volts. Let's check the continuity from the negative of main filter capacitor to the pin 2 or ground of LM7815. Continues beeping means a connection between two points. Again, please be careful when troubleshooting this type of inverter welding machine. To prevent electrical shock, you must isolate yourself from earth ground. This is now ready for testing, and check the voltages. Let's plug it in. Let's turn it on. You can hear the fan, and it's working. The welding machine now has power. But the current display is not working. Let's check it later. Let's check voltages. The 24 volt supply is okay. Fifteen volt supply is also okay. Next, let's check the five volt supply for the display.
there's a 15 volt supply going to input or pin one of LM7805. But there's no 5 volts output. I think the LM7805 is okay. Let's check other components. There's a shorted in the output of LM7805. The output is going to the IC. After removing the silicon glue, I found out some pins of the ICU is burnt. This is the cause for no display. To fix it, we need to replace the IC. I'm going to order it online for the exact replacement. But even though the display is not working, you can still use it for welding, the display is only for current level indicator.
Let's check the voltage output. It's 65 volts DC. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell to update you if I have a new upload video. Thank you for watching.